Hey guys, welcome back to your Sycamore Tree and we're playing Greedfall. Now I've heard quite a lot about this game, but I've not played it yet, so let's get straight into it. New game. Uh, we'll go normal. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There! Now, hold the pose! Hold that pose! Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm a man. Okay, I kind of want to change the hair a bit. Ooh. Very Viking in that one, isn't it? Oh, okay, let's go modern. In fact, now I quite like long hair. Is that the Viking one? We'll go for the Viking one. Facial hair, just want a bit of stubble, maybe that one. There we go. Eyebrows don't really care about. Eye colour is fine. Skills. Okay. Warrior, technical, magic. Okay. So let's be a warrior. Attributes. Okay. Strength. I've only got one point to spend. Okay. Yep. Talents. Charisma. Science. Lock picking. Intuition. Craftsmanship. Vigor. Okay, we'll go for that one. Start game. Yes. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> Better been as well. Singularity gives character. You're still here. We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. You're gonna get finished I picture. Beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord. You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir. Truly, I must be going. Uh, my lord, please, I beg you. Her Highness has personally requested my finish. Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. Okay. Oh, okay, camera's quite uh Go and say goodbye to your mother. Sire, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make you good company. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I got an axe and sword. Not enough adrenaline. Don't know what that means. Green blood. Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Oh, enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Mm. 
Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. Ha! <laughs> Kurt! I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Oh, better combat. Okay. Three times. Two. Three. Defend. Uh, how do I defend? Oh. Oh god. Get up. Okay, this isn't good. Dodge. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh God. That sword is killer. I've used all my potions already. I'm dead. <laughs> what a green blood. Me who thought myself a competent weapons master. It's becoming a little hard to believe. Don't add insult to injury. This is humiliating enough. We'll need to get you through the basics or you risk getting your feathers plucked at the first sign of trouble. That could definitely come in handy. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go, fight with honor. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's how that works. Okay, here we go. Oh God. Come on then. Okay, use a flurry attack. Am I done? Are we done? It appears we brushed up on the basics. It does, and I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. You if you're feeling rusty. Yes, you know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. Uh, On yeah. the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Cossilion are joining our party. A few friends Sir de Cossilion. <laughs> ah, so the old goat is coming too. 
And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine, I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. Goodbye. I'm going to see, her now. see you later. Let's goodbye. Bye bye. I'll meet you to the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Okay. So where's mother? Mother. Well, I'll take you in here. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, she doesn't look very well. My dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now. Let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. Oh, one thing brings poor mom. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to. I know, but it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Oh, come now, it is time for you to take leave. Here, take this with you. What is it? What is it? That's what I just said. <laughs> a family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. Thanks, Mum. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. Don't worry, I'll make you proud, Mum. See you later. No, oh, I like my hat. I really like the hat. Wow. This is pretty cool, actually. Kurt, it's done. Sorry, Green Blood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. Before the I depart, Chuck. wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Okay. On the team. Add to the team. Confirm team and quit. Okay, so you're on my team. Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it's certainly worthy of inspection. Let's go check out this town. It's really nice.
Nice and proper grungy. Oh god. Some loot. Oh, do you kill your man or men? Is it one each? Oh, what you want, Edmund? Ooh. Oh, you have been busy, aren't you? Right, so how do we inventory? Ah, here we go. Equipment. Nope. Oh, okay, I need to learn it. Okay, that makes sense. Them on. Okay. What about them boots? They're not as good as the ones I'm wearing. Okay, so you've got A and B. That's fair enough. Okay. Where are we going? This way? this I don't know oh is it like a where's my map is there a map oh, there we go so I go back this way Come on, Kurt. Yep, down this way. The merchant is there. The merchant is there. Hey, up, my door. Good day, good sir. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refused to one of the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Orders? Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. A scandal? You're demanding a second payment but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. Well, bring him this down then. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? Do 
Ooh, I've got a 75% chance of a, a prison sentence. Or to threaten him. I don't think you understand who you're dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Do you know who I am? Sade, nephew of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion, theft. You know as well as I that the congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That is a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... As you request, my lord, I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Yes, Thank it is. You. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! Bravo. Master must be expecting us. Okay. I don't think where I'm going. I can go down this way. I think it's this way. Oh, careful with that pickaxe. I don't think you realise who you're dealing with. Oh, so that's how we can craft stuff. Oh, he's not very well, is he? Sade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Make your Captain, acquaintance. You set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, yeah. Well, now. If he finds an alternative solution that is less, uh, illegal uh, that would be fine the method matters not but this cargo must reach the isle on the next ship marvelous well then i await your return with utmost impatience i'm certain you shall do what's required what's required okay how do we get out of here I can just change. Okay, that's better. Right, where are we going now? All the way back over there. Oh, your boon swarm through. No, we've not had a fight in a while, so imagine that we'll end up having a fight in a minute. I'm hoping so. Old warehouses. Pork water. Oh no, I don't think we're going to have a fight. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Oh no. There are some children we'd be best to refuse. Oh, look at Captain his hands. Vasco. Bless him. I'm de Sade, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. Shit. 
Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. <laughs> is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Okay. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, I mean. I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. Hmm. This Jones, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a guild? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Norts master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nort from birth. Others are sea gifted, joined the Norts for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Okay. Could you tell me anything about our destination, the island of Tirfredi? It is a magnificent place. Wild. Spared from your wars and your mines for now. The natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They were very friendly people, welcoming. It will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are a great many exotic creatures, some enormous. But I wouldn't know what else to tell you. I've never strayed far from the ports. Okay. One last thing. What do you think of our port? Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Norts. Certain zones are owned completely by us. And maritime law holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. Okay, I think we're good. Soon, I think we're done. Okay. So, you still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot have no fear. I will bring him. I'm still without. Okay. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We all like ears. Some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the port of. Registered. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel, I wouldn't go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. 
He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 4 D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse, and no stop of manifest, will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. <sighs> Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is gonna have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that okay. case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. Be back okay. soon, Captain. Be back soon, Captain. Okay, so what have we got here? Okay. Can I set a waypoint? Ish. Okay. Let's go then. Someone told me that you're a friend of Jonas's, the young cabin boy who's gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taking the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? Tell me where he is. When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Why? I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> what does Jonas do in his free time? When you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his point like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Okay. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, as far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. Oh and you dear. Don't believe him. I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others. And when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I called back to him, as you guess, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. Okay. What do you think about Captain Vasca? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. Okay. I need to be going. Farewell. Farewell. Okay. So I speak to the other guy. So some, something to do with the canal, anyway. Good day, sailor. Good day, I've sailor. You know the missing cabin boy. Is that right? You're talking about Jonas. 
You bet your stars I know it. But like hmm. I've been crying to the nine death winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. <laughs> Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puffed. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No. Not telling him that. I still have some pride left. You get me? You get me. Did Jonas seem troubled to you, the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Hmm. <laughs> Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. The kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. Oh. Now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a just man who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he hasn't much heart for lass now and again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Okay. Thank you, Lara. I need to be going. Strange story, this is. Something isn't right here, I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. Okay, so it's like going to be uh, two things in that tavern. Can I climb up stuff? No. Don't know if it was like Assassin's Creed. -y. I love how he opens doors. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. Good What's day to you. I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. What do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age. Hair down to his neck, light brown, blue eyes, quite the talker. I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. Oh, I hope dear. he's come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. Okay. Well then, were you able to repair it all? No, I haven't been able to sort them out. 
In that case, you need to pay me, sir. I regret I don't have the sum you're asking for. Either you repair them, or you reimburse their cost. Or I keep what I know about your cousin to myself. That's ridiculous. He could reimburse you easily. I He's want to talk man. about something else. Perhaps, but a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And as for promises, I've heard enough to fill an ocean. Very well. I will see what I can scavenge in that case. Uh, okay. I'm looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who's been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping. In my establishment. You should jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Okay. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? Anything else? No. I need to be off. Farewell. Farewell. Goodbye. You want me to play, aren't you? Play a game. Right, so what do I need for this? The furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like him. Okay, so we need some metal dowels. Let's speak to this guy while we're here. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No. I have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I am here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing, that I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. Tell me what happened, man. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. Mercenaries. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? No, sir. You were in luck. It so happens that I know the man. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulane Embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a okay. child? Get used to this menu system. So I need four metal dowels. Four metal dowels. I don't know what they are. 
Oh. <laughs> Crude iron ore. I wonder if the shops have them. I did. No. Oh, world map. Oh, okay, so it's quite a uh, quite an expansive map. I've only got two. How much money have I got? Eight. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Oh no, I want to sell. Welcome. I want to sell. Such, have you seen Must be a, a better way. Oh, what have you got? Thank you for your visit. Welcome. It's such. Have you seen anything? Got to be another merchant, surely. Right. So, where do we need to go? Let's go there on our way to there. Okay. Come closer now, good people. Don't be afraid. Come celebrate the miracle of science. You won't believe your eyes. No. Oh, they're, <coughs> they're people. Oh dear. Right. Looks like we're going in here. Your Excellency, Lord Desade. Lord Desade. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. Thank you. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought. Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. 
You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous <laughs> individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Oh. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. I will do. Do I think we need to ask anything else? To Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord Desade. Okay. Ah, oh, that's where we're going. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Yeah, give me more quests. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Okay. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Okay. Right. Confront the kidnappers. And I think we'll leave it there, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Until then, I shall see you in a bit. Goodbye.